Today, we are covering electrical discharge machining for the mold tool industry. Many think of this as just the end result by burning electrodes into a block of material. This is going to show a full process solution from designing to machining electrodes to outputting the burn positions. We'll use this roadmap to follow along. You can see four main sections for this process. This can be accomplished by one person or a team depending on your staffing needs. Starting with CAD design, you'll be able to pull electrodes by using full modeling commands. Busy can handle a wide range of electrode shapes from simple to creation off multiple areas for a single trode, as well as easily pulling off of tangent faces. Starting with this cross section, we can window drag selecting multiple faces to create the trode. Furthermore, we can use a simple 2D profile to extrude to a known entity where Visi will create a cavity shape of the electrode. This is extremely valuable for creating electrodes using two solids where we have an insert here. This results in a clean solid that can be united to the other half producing a full electrode to be machined. Here we see the one half that we created off of the insert. So now we can actually take this and we can unite this to the other body giving us that full electrode to be machined. There are also various modeling commands to cut the solid, extend faces, add radial blends without being held back by a parametric tree structure. Without being hindered by the tree structure, we have free ability to manipulate the geometry as necessary. Once we have the geometry for our trow design, we can de then define the base stock size. This allows us to organize the electrodes in a meaningful manner by defining a name and a layer to place this on. There are other various options for defining stock length, width, and height. As we alter these options, we can freely see how it's affecting the model here. We also have the ability to create a heel and define the dimensions of the heel for use of measurement or reinforcement. There are also ways to mark the corners of the base with a chamfer for placement orientation onto the holder. Here we also have the stock center position, so that way if you need to offset the center of the stock to the holder, you can input those values as well. We also have the ability to rotate the electrode inside the holder. This information will be stored with the electrode and output onto those setup sheets, as well as steps for collision checking and then the origin placement for where this holder is. Here you can use the slider bar to be able to quickly view the electrode that was created and defined. Lastly, we set the origin for pickup, which affects our known burn positions. Visi automatically calculates the XYZ coordinates for a mold base to pick up. This then gets added to the HTML sheets as well as when we discuss RAM EDM on our roadmap. We have other great tools like this dynamic section that allows us to verify contact points of the electrode through the use of hotkeys and using a combination of mentioned techniques earlier can reduce hours of design time on a complex rib part such as this. Moving back to our roadmap, the next step is organizing these electrodes in the Electrode Manager, where we have control over defining a project, groups, running setup reports, and saving out files for machining. We can group the electrodes using different names and subsets. There's also the ability to mirror electrodes, which retains any holder information, as well as commands to change holders, and also jump directly into electrode machining as the last part of our roadmap. You can also do collision checking on the electrode with the holder against the defined workpiece, as well as control process direction for those vector burns. Within this menu, you'll also be able to create HTML setup sheets, as well as export out all project files as if they need to go to other softwares. The organization also transfers to the folder structure that gets saved to your network or local PC. This is used to be able to easily find project data. Now we need to get this data to the floor for cutting and burning. We can create reports that will automatically create 2D layouts with pictures. The reports are populated with all information about the electrode from naming to size and positions, as well as any user comments. There's also raw stock dimension sizes for prep. This allows the shop floor to get started with machining right away. Heading back to our roadmap of our electrode machining, this is fast and easy through the use of templates with multiple setups, reducing the programming time and building consistency between programmers and jobs. We're going to run electrode machining on multiple CAM setups. This will be accomplished after saving those project files out. Within the electrode manager is the integrated electrode machining. Inside of electrode machining, we can set the project name, the milling machine, 
as well as the tool crib. We can also set the minimum Z height to constrain the tool pass from hitting the holder. The Z height can be established either here or on the fly programming or in the standard templates used. We also have the ability to adjust the stock model based on relative size of the electrode. Once applied, we can then choose from user-made templates that standardize the programming process. This speeds up and reduces errors in programming and eliminates improperly set speeds and feeds on tools, as well as tool management, making sure to extend that tool life. By choosing a template, this populates the saved operations and tools, even working with multiple setups from each side of the trode. We can see this by clicking on an operation and showing the tool with the holder which direction the toolpath is applied from. Further verification can be done by running the simulation. This shows full machine with rotations to each side of the electrode setup for verifying tool crashes and collisions. Within the toolpath simulation, we also have the ability to see the deviation for where we're still stock heavy on the electrode as well, indicating new areas that need to be cut. Lastly, on our roadmap, I'll take a look at what RAM EDM can do to speed up your process and reduce human error. We'll be able to output those burn positions to GCO programs to eliminate errors. Along with the burn positions, we can output a wide range of other data required at the machine control. This allows us to import programs in a more fluid manner to get those jobs running. RAM EDM here was designed specifically by TST for mold makers. Using the print data information that comes from the electrode manager, we can select what electrodes that get output to the program for burning. TST's on-site application engineer works directly with your operator to ensure the post is designed specifically for your machine to ensure as little, if any, hand editing is required. After selecting the required information, this is turned into a G-code program as shown that is run on the control similar to a CNC mill. With a final look at the roadmap, we can see how using Visi is a fully integrated solution, improves our process starting from design all the way through to the shop floor, cutting and burning electrodes. Thank you for watching.